let's put a big dent in this. A dent in one side of a panel surely is just a high spot in the other and yet you're telling me different techniques to remove the same scenario. Well, I'm dying to not get too in depth and carried away here and ramble on for an hour and a half. So, trying to keep it as brief and understandable as possible, I would have said that we've got to break the problem down into two different observations. The first one being access. Cars are assembled and they're not single panels. So gaining access to the inside of something may be very, very hard to do. So that's the access issue, if you think about it. I mean, it's easy to kind of think in your head about how you could do these things until you actually come to do it, and then you suddenly realise you can't get behind, you can't reach, or there is no way in. And that's why a lot of the procedures and uh, tips and tricks that I've shown are shown the way they are. So that's kind of the first part of the puzzle is the access issue. And the other part is, is bodywork is basically a skin over mechanical components. And it always runs around the car, meaning that all the outer facing surfaces are going to be convex or nearly always convex. And this is where the metal behaves in a completely different way. Just to try and simplify things, because I'm itching to get really, really involved here, but if I just turn this around the other way, so now the panel becomes concave. A high spot on a concave surface that is shrank will actually become higher, because you're reducing the distance between there and there when you shrink it, so that dent will increase if you try and shrink it on a concave surface. Not on a convex, on a concave, that dent will get worse if you shrink it, it will just come up and up and up and up. Because it's the other way around to what you're used to working with. So I hope that answers the question a lot of people have posed. <laughs>